Good day, everybody, and welcome back. For those of us that use iUFC Export with our iPads to, to create the upfront controls for the jets we fly and the, the jets that are supported with the app, sometimes get frustrated with a little thing that happens every now and then. It's not a, a deficiency. It's just a condition that happens because of the way we're connecting to the Internet. And typically what happens, the condition shows that our buttons are still working. We can still click on the buttons on the iPad. It makes the buttons move and the knobs move and everything on the uh, upfront controls in the jets. However, the ones that have screens that display information, the information on our iPad is not matching or showing what is in the actual jet. Uh, and this is frustrating, especially when it worked before, but here's a simple fix of what you can do. Now, what this condition is caused by is just the way you're connected to the internet through your DHCP settings. Uh, DHCP settings. And, and it's not a deficiency with DHCP, it's just the way it works. And, you know, I'm not an internet expert or a uh, information expert or information management expert, but it basically assigns, automatically assigns IP addresses to devices as they connect to your wireless uh, router. And typically what will happen in my case is I'll take the iPad on a trip or something and I'll come back and somebody else has already taken the old IP address and so my DHCP just gives me a new IP address. But that's not a big problem because I'll show you how to fix it. In the last year and a half that I've been using this program, I've had to fix this maybe three times. I know of two times it might have been three, but it's not a big deal. It's easy to do and I'll show you how to do that. So the quick fix is, one, you need to find your IP address on your iPad. And the way you do that is go to the settings, down on the information little little I button with a circle there, click next to your Wi-Fi connection. It'll be over on your left, depending on what version of software you have. And then you'll note the IP address. You'll want to write that down so you have it. Next thing you'll have to do is you'll go over to your Save Games, DCS World Open Beta, Scripts folder. Inside there you'll see the IUFC Export Lua. You'll want to open that up with Notepad++ or whatever you use to edit programs with. And in there, right after you get through the, all the introductory information uh, in, that's up there on the top down, you can see on mine I have line 26. It may be different for you, but you'll want to find the local network multicast IP address by the uh, where it says that. Not the one below it, but the one right there. The one below it will be a different IP. And typically, once you've had this working, what happens is, is your IP address up here on this line number 26, for me, doesn't change except the last digits or two take changes. So sometimes, like I've had dot .6, I've had dot .3, and then I've had dot .4. So it has been about three times that I, I've made it work. I uh, had to do this to make it work. So it's easy to do. So you'll change that, save the, uh, save the Lua file, and then you'll want to restart the iPad, restart DCS, and enjoy.